morning guys y'all uh, this is scratching my scalp now because i just came out the shower so i just want to show you quickly how i get my ponytail slicked up and slicked back to form a nice neat pony and then i'm just going to put it in a little bun using this little contraption here that looks like a plastic donut and also show you what i use to kind of tame my edges although my edges are not acting up today but yeah this is what i use to sort of tame my edges and what is what's the term i can't even think of it right now oh lay my edges there we go lay my edges flat so i have already started with a clean head blow dried and everything just a reminder my hair is relaxed so that's why it looks like this but i'm pretty sure this mega hold styling gel will work very well for natural hair um there's another studio i don't remember if it's by l'oreal studio five or studio some studio nine that a friend of mine uses by the name of macy she's got beautiful natural hair and she uses that to lay her edges down um so yeah let's get right into it so i started my hair off with this l'oreal paris Elnet satin cream mousse i'm just reading here in french creme de mousse so it's a new product it also does hold curls and it's a stronghold but it also doesn't give you that hard feel on your hair so that's what i love it for and yeah so that's what i used and how i got it, my hair to look like this is i just smeared this like so okay i'm just using a small amount for an example just smear this on your hair like so make sure that you actually use a little thin tailed i mean thin tooth comb this is for people who've got relaxed hair if you've got natural hair use a medium tooth comb then you just sort of comb your hair back i'm not going to comb back now because i'm just going to ruin what i just did so you comb it back and then you use this to slick it back right and then you use a brush doesn't matter what brush it is i use this hard round brush to sort of brush my hair back into the back like so and there you have it and i tied it with a normal elasticy band so i'm actually not really going to lay my edges today because they look quite lame and they're behaving but what i usually do is i use this it's kind of sticky and an old toothbrush like that and i just do this literally i don't have much edges to lay but yeah this is this is what i do this is literally what i do on my edges just like that and come to the front grab a few hairs and do exactly the same thing like so so we just want to flick it back just like that i've been seeing this in a lot of hair tutorials from my african-american sisters out there but they do it a lot better than i do so this is kind of a result and yeah so that's how i lay my edges i'm just going to quickly do the other side like that and tuck it behind the ear oh we've got a little piece of hair that's misbehaving there get a little bit of hair in the front here just sweep it back and there you have it i don't have really long edges that's why I'm looking like a real mess right now but that's what I use to sort of lay my edges and then it looks like I've got a gap or like I'm bolding here but yeah that's what I do just had to put some more mousse 
because my hair is not starting to misbehave so yeah i don't know about the stronghold of this thing but my hair is not starting to do its own thing and have a mind of its own so i'm just gonna do that and maybe take a little bit of this holding gel and smear it on up here just to keep things at bay then this is really simple you're just going to take this little donut thing and put it on top of where you formed your ponytail like so don't know if you can see this let me adjust the camera quickly okay so yeah you want to put it on your hair like this and then you just spread the hair evenly over the donut just use a comb to make sure that the hair is actually evenly dispersed because you don't want little sparse areas where you don't have any hair covering and then slip a hair elastic over it oh you see what i meant just kind of comb out the hair to cover up the sparse areas like so and then you want to try to tuck in the hair that's left sticking out and there you have it you've got an elegant little bun as you can see i don't know if you can see it but yeah you have yourself an elegant little bun and that's it good morning everybody so <clears throat> i'm so chuffed with myself i've gone from 115 kilos to 109 in basically 31 days let me rather say 30 days because i started this around that's actually less because I started this diet in the second week of October. So I've dropped a lot of weight, actually. Wow, that's miraculous. Don't ever doubt the power of water. It chases away demons and I'm pretty sure it can get rid of the demons in your body. So today there's no hot belt, but I am waist training with something else. Something that's a little bit more cuter. It's more like a waist cincher whatever type of thing it's not a waist trainer it's more of a i forgot what the english word is for this but yeah it's the thing that sucks in your stomach those things you see on tv where they tell you that your stomach disappears in a matter of seconds yeah it's one of those but this one has got a lot more structured structure to it it's got more of the boning stuff in it so it's not just sucking it's also shape oh there we go shapewear it's shapewear so yeah i'm pretty excited for myself and there's a lot more left to go and i feel lighter and i look better i feel because this top used to be a little bit tighter here it wasn't as loose as it is today so yeah six kilograms guys it's achievable it's doable guys i just thought i should share this beautiful view that i'm looking at right now irrespective of the street lights on the n1 or m1 highway i feel that africa has the beautifulest skies and beautifulest sunsets i mean even though we've got street lights like the sky just looks so pretty like i'm driving on this highway and i feel like i'm driving somewhere exotic i am loving every second of this I just finished my two liter as I've been driving right now. Been snacking on some peanuts and raisins. I know the raisins are bad because they've got sugar. And yeah, I just thought I should share this with y'all. Like, I feel this is so beautiful. Not the e tolls, those are monstrosity, demonic little possessions that need to be removed and abominated and burnt and blown up like 9 11. But anyway, yeah just thought i should show you this beautiful view that i'm busy driving in i love it i haven't been home in such a long time 
never knew that Gauteng could be this beautiful. Oh my gosh. 